you've seen the pictures downstairs of our practical rooms where we practice on each other, so the students practice on each other, and that's where often the students will learn their key assessment skills. However, to make that feel a little bit more real, to make them prepared to go on their clinical placements, we'll bring them up here to clinical skills. Something that we're very proud of here at RG is we have a spiral curriculum and essentially what that means is what you learn in one module, we expect students to continue with that knowledge and develop it as they move forward into another module. So downstairs in the practical rooms you may very well have looked at how to assess a hip joint so you could differentiate between whether it's a muscle problem, a bony problem or a ligamentous problem. You'll also have parallel classes where we look at how do we move and handle the hip joint, how do we get somebody out of bed safely. We'll also be looking at monitoring of patients, so looking at their blood pressure, heart rate, when is it safe to get somebody out of bed and how would you need to vary getting them out of bed. To make that come to life and to see how the spiral curriculum works, as we may face uh, in clinical skills here, we may use some of our volunteer patients and therefore students will have come into this room and there'll be a volunteer patient here in the bed who's been given a role play to act out. And they may be, for example, this is a 66 year old lady who's just had her hip replaced yesterday. We'd like you to undertake an assessment and get her out of bed and start with the beginnings of early rehabilitation. So within that, students are going to have to take their knowledge of what total hip replacement is. They'll need to take their knowledge about what hip uh, components of a hip assessment they'd want to include. They'll need to think about how they're going to move and handle that individual out of bed because they may very well have a catheter in. They may have some lines in that they need to be mindful of so they don't come out during getting them out of bed in that transfer. And they also then need to think about what the observations are happening. So they may be on oxygen, they may be a little bit worried and concerned considering they've just had some surgery. So they're going to have to take all those factors in together in one time while they're being assessed. And in this clinical skills room then it allows the students to get feedback both from ourselves as tutors but also from the volunteer patients and that's really useful and they get feedback from their handling and their clinical work but also how they communicated, how they made that individual feel. There's also videos, mount, videos mounted on the screen uh, in the ceiling here as well and that allows students to play back that video footage of themselves which again is really really useful for their own development to see what they did well and areas for development. So the clinical skills really allows us to give students that real life experience before they go out on clinical placement and it's far more applied and practical based learning rather than again up in the classroom me saying this is how you manage a total hip replacement. So hopefully as you're going through these videos you can really see how we think about it from basic skills down in the lab to then more applied clinical skills here in the clinical skills sketch setting and then you have your clinical placements where you're actually going to have real live members of the public where you get to consolidate it further.